Anna Delvey, my dear. Sorokin, give me a call. You have to call me now. Because if you don't do it, I don't care if you're in prison or not. Find a way. You have always a way to contact people. I have a plan. I figured it all out. And I think you're going to want to know. We got to collab. We got to do something together. Honestly, this, this has got to happen. And if from prison you can't subscribe, once you're out, subscribe to my channel. And you too, subscribe to my channel. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today. Gain access to extra perks. Join me on Patreon. So for all spelled together there as well for extra perks. Thank you to all my members and patrons who have already joined. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream every Saturday. Welcome. Everybody's welcome to join me in the chats. <clears throat> Anna. Anna. I do have time for you. Call me. We got to talk. Seriously, everybody's making these videos online. About, okay, listen, I, I'm a little bit late to the game with inventing Anna. I heard all of your interviews that, that, that are available online. And I mean, like, the actress, did, did she really get you fully? No, I don't believe so. I prefer the OG. Um, you deliver... Oh, the whole contextualization of how you talk, what you do, how you connect the speech with not answering questions, <laughs> evading and being elusive. You are a masterpiece, darling. Now, <clears throat> a lot of people out there don't like you. A lot of people out there think you're a con artist. A lot of people out there just wish you the worst. Uh, on whoever posts for you on Instagram, the comment sections are flooded with either people loving you or people hating you. You are so polarizing, like nothing has been in a long time, and I'm here for it. Also, to all those people throwing shade, I'm like, you yeah, guys, first of all, she did not, <coughs> so, pardon me, I'm still recovering from COVID, by the way, that's why I'm coughing. She did not take the plea deal. She's like, send me to trial. I want to do it. And, <laughs> and it was fabulous. And then, and, okay, and they, and then they said, okay, you're guilty. Go to jail. She did. She served her time. They let her go. So she served her time. The crime has been paid for. She's she's a free woman. Okay, now she's again captured by ICE because of, you know, not being American and overstaying her visa and all that stuff. But you can't come for a, a, a person who has served their time and has, by the legal system, been let out. That's done. You can't use that against them anymore. You can't, because otherwise we can all come for everybody all the time because I'm sure everybody has done some illegal shit in their life that they don't even want to talk about. But then, you know, it's the story of he who hath not sinned cast the first stone. Honey boo boo cha. Let me tell ya, you have sinned and how you have sinned. So... You know, spare me the bullcrap. Now, listen, on another note, everybody's like, oh, the poor Rachel, poor Rachel. Rachel is the real con artist in this situation. Everything I'm saying in this video is just alleged for entertainment purposes only and just my opinion, by the way. But in my humble, personal, conspiratorial opinion, Ones, Rachel is the con in this situation, okay? You go <clears throat> with your friend and your friend is like, I'll pay this, I'll pay that, I'll pay for the dinner, I'll pay for the champagne, I'll pay for the caviar, I'll pay for this. Pay. And Rachel's like, okay, 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 yes, okay, thank you, thank you, why, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, how much did she spend on you, Rachel? Huh? And then, and then once she has a hiccup, because, you know, the credit cards weren't paying for the uh, Morocco uh, resort, and then, okay, well, you know, you kind of jump in with your credit card and your work credit card, and then the thing gets paid, but then you get all the money back for that, by the way, Rachel. Yeah, you did. Or shall we just call you Karen at this point? Yeah, Karen. An alleged persona that doesn't exist really, Karen. Karen then is like, ah, but Karen got all the money back. The credit card gave her the money back because they finally considered it the fraud that it was or not was. The job got the money back. She did not get fired. But then she writes an article, gets a ton of money for the article, and doesn't say in the article that she ratted her friend out to the feds and to the cops, to the, to the fuzz. Oh, you, you kept that out, Rachel, didn't you? And then you write a book about your friend. Oh, well, and then you earned all that money, allegedly, on top of that. So wait, so <clears throat> who's profiting off of who, Rachel, Karen? Who's profiting off of who here? And then you're going to write another book, probably, and then you do all the interviews that are all paid. <laughs> Rachel says, I'm not a con. No, not you, Dolly. 
<coughs> Sorry. Rachel, Rachel, Ra ah, the CC spies. I was like, Rachel. Rachel, listen. No bueno. No bueno. What you did, dud done, is the connery of it all. And let, let's talk. Listen. Uh, I, ha I have prepared something here. This little piece here, okay? This little Chanel lipstick holder. It might also contain other things in it, but that's none of your business. I don't have time to explain this to, to you. I don't have time for you. But I'm going to tell you anyway. This thing on the Chanel website states a price, well, depending which country you're in, of about $1,400. Yes, Anna, call me, baby. Now, listen. Uh... One of my acquaintances sends me a DM telling me, oh my God, Jacob, I've seen this on, I think, Sotheby's or some, <clears throat> pardon me, on some um, auction site for $2,800. I'm like, who's the con artist here? This thing is still in production and available in Chanel stores for $1,400, more or less. And then you, and then Sotheby's is auctioning it off right now for $2,800, while whilst this thing is still available... Who's the crook? Who's <coughs> who's making stuff up to get money out of you? Who? Who is... And here, everybody's jumping on Anna Delvey uh, Sorokin. Anna. You, and, and if she chooses Delvey, then call her Delvey. Respect her. She wants to be called Delvey? Yeah, I get it. I respect that. I call her Delvey. Like, what? So, fine. Anna Delvey. If somebody asks you... Listen, my mama always taught me, Jacob... Always be ready to lend something that you're prepared to lose, to not get back. You know, that's a really clever thing to know in your life. So I'm very clear to people. If they say, hey, can, you, can I borrow $500,000? No, you can't. Done. Hey, can I borrow your makeup? I'm like, mm, I'll have to buy a new one probably because if you borrow it, it's gone. But I'll be like, yeah, I, I can afford to buy a new one. Here, borrow it. Done. I never see the makeup again. We're good to go. We'll go, we'll go. Um, if you know, you know. So, but Rachel, oh, you is a nasty piece of work, you is. My humble opinion. Profiting so much off of the situation. While Anna can barely afford anything. Anna is a genius, you guys. She came out of jail. First thing she did was like, go start a Twitter account and say, I'm back. And then the next thing she posts, more or less, Oh, pardon me. Wendy Williams burp. And then the next thing she does, she moves into a hotel and says, I'm moving in with, with a devil smile. And of course, oh my God, how brilliant. Because what she does is she's mimicking what you are expecting of her. You're expecting of her to be a con. You're expecting of her to be a fraud. And she's just feeding you that you are all of you are so gullible you're so okay this is an hrh collection moment you in the back you trolls in the back you stay in the back you're so gullible you're so you're so stupid you shut up you shut up you're stupid listen we can all play these games if you know hrh collection you know what i mean <laughs> now she plays you like a fiddle yeah diddle her skittle because ultimately she's doing exactly what you want her to do she's mimicking your needs you want her to be a con and a fraud she's going to post on instagram moving in to a new hotel and of course one million comments coming in fraud oh my god did you tell them you're going to pay them with a bank wire ha 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 she wants you to do that and you think you're so clever by coming after her you think you're so clever <laughs> what you're doing in reality is fueling the flame. Ah, more power to her. Living for it. Living for that. Oh, thank you so JPMSF much, JPMSF. $40. Appreciate you so much. Love your live streams. I hope your credit card is covered. I hope this was not just a bank wire. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for you. <laughs> thank you so much, sweetie. Living for it. Living for it. Listen to me. Your guys. She's incredible. And then the, the geniosity of it all is she contacts that con artist that allegedly um, copied the Basquiat paintings and was selling the replicas of the paintings and then got convicted for it allegedly. I don't know all the details, but she collaborates with... She's like, hey, want to collaborate with me on a special project? She was doing her drawings while in court and while in prison. 
And then he was supposed to take them and then copy them and do his version of them. And they were selling those uh, in a gallery place just a couple of weeks ago to kind of also fund her legal fees and stuff like that. I was like, that's fucking brilliant. And then on top of that, that went really well, or so they say. And I was just like, well, now mid-April, she's going to have another show in another art gallery. Her own drawings and paintings. I'm like, yes, more power to you. And also be creative. Oh, my God. And then she shows up right before they caught her again with, like, merch. And I'm like, where can I buy that? Take my money, honey. And everybody's like, no, she's going to con you. Con me. Con me, baby. Con me. I mean, I, th th at this point, it's like, it's entertainment, darling. It's, it's like saying, I want to go to a club where Naomi Campbell is dancing. You know, I've been telling this to you. For whoever follows me for some time knows that one of my biggest dreams is to be slapped silly by Naomi in a club. Going to a club, fanning out when seeing Naomi, and then Naomi being super rude to me and saying like, oh, how dare you? And then just slapping. This was way before the Will Smith and Chris Rock moment slap, okay? I'm the OG slapper. Wanna be slapped, slappable, slapper, slapper, dapper, slapper. I want... Naomi Campbell, and I've been saying this since years, to slap the shit out of me in a club. That goals, goals, okay? Those are goals. And now that the new Naomi Campbell slap moment is the Anna Delvey con moment, obviously, you give her what you can. What I wanted to give her was, in particular, money for the merch. I thought it was genius. So the Daily, the, the Daily Mail.com, she turned it into... Um, Delvey mail, I think, dot con. <laughs> a little print on a little sweatshirt. Oh, honey, I'm all for it. I want that merch yesterday. <clears throat> she was announcing like, hey, I have a little something, something coming up for you. But then, you know, the chick ended up in, in prison again. In prison, she's writing a book and she's writing a letter to Donald Trump telling him, hey, Donnie, this is how it's going to be for you once you're in prison. I'm going to give you... <laughs> tips on how to survive in Rikers. You guys, you have to have a sense of humor that is beyond, beyond all those ratchet comedians that tried to wanna be comedians at the Oscars the other night. She's way beyond that. She, way beyond that. Get, writing a letter to Donald Trump, telling him how it's gonna be for him in prison. You guys... On another level. On another level. And also, let me tell you something. You ask and you shall be given. Isn't the Bible saying something similar? Like, you you ask for something and if somebody wants to give it to you, they'll give it to you. You can't say later, oh, well, you conned me into it. I say, hey, can you give me $100,000? And you say, yeah, sure, I can. Yeah, here you go. Here you have it. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you very much, kind sir. Thank you. Thank you. And then like two months later, you want to sue me for it? Yeah. I asked for it. You said you got it for me. You gives it to me. And now you want to sue me for it? Now, and when it comes to the banks, you might say, Oh, the banks. Oh, the banks. How dare she? How dare she steal from the banks? What the hell do you think the banks have been doing to you, your parents, your grandparents, and the parents of your grandparents since they was born? They were stealing your money. And they're going to keep doing it till the end of time. That's legal. It always has been legal. But heaven forbid... Some chick has a dream and wants to open an art foundation association and wants to live eating, breathing, sucking on caviar day and night. So what? Let a girl dream. Let a girl dream. Honestly, yeah, guys. And she served her time. On top of it all, she didn't want to plea deal. She's like, let's go to trial. Let's do it. She's a boss. Oh, honey. And then they, you know, prosecution. And then she ends up in prison. She serves her time. But, and, and yet here we are, she's the con, she's the con, she's blah, 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 blah. She served her time. She's a free woman now. Issues with the visa is a different issue, but the con artistry of it all, that's, that's, that's past. And we don't have time for this. We don't have time for your gossip. This is over, overrated. It's done. Moving on. It's like, we're, it's done. If you've served your time, you're innocent after that because... You've served it. They, they said you're guilty. They charged you. You went to jail. And now you're done. So let it be. Let it be. All of you trolls in the bag that I see you. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Hi, Alex. So anyway, on another note. Actually, the same note. Think about it this way. 
This is the future. The future is progression, evolution, creativity. She's going to be creative. Is she, listen, is she going to have her five minutes of fame still going and burning? Sure, if they don't deport her, it's going to be fabulous. It's not going to last forever. Because there's going to be some other person who's even more cuckoo out there pushing the boundaries even further that are going to occupy all our attention spans. Because we, the fruit flies, have very short attention spans. So if Anna wants to play the game right, she's going to call me because I have an idea. But otherwise, it's a very short attention span that human beings have. So we're going to move on to the next best thing, which is going to live out like Andy Warhol always said. Everybody's going to get their 15 minutes of fame and then moving on. Thank you. Next, as Ariana Grande would say. And we're going to move on to the next thing. But if Anna plays her cards right, we might just be hearing about her for a little wee longer than just 15 minutes. But you need a plan, girl. Now I know you want us to believe that you have a plan, but honey... You don't have a plan. You have people offering you stuff, but that's not a plan. That is kind of like blowing in the wind. You see, you don't want to blow in the wind. Oh, honey, no. You want to throw that anchor and you want to anchor yourself somewhere. And from the depths of that ocean of despair, you want that algae to grow and occupy that ocean. And there's ways of doing that. Take it from somebody who hath been and doth been done dud that anna read between the lines others are profiting off of her and they're not considered con artists why for example q q in exhibit a look at this the anna and the anna i was shocked when i saw this the other day because i was talking to friends of mine and i was like oh you know anna bay anna w and they're like oh, wait, they mixed them up i'm like no they're two different people and they're like what do you mean they're two different people i'm like anna bay <laughs> i know as much as they're kind of similar, they're two different people. So the first thing I do is I'm like, like, let me Google search, let me image Google search for you, Anna Bay and Anna Delvey, and I'm going to send you the two pictures so you get to see it. You can't make this shit up. I Google, image Google search, Anna Bay, and this is the first thing that pops up. Anna Bay's thumbnail for her own video that she just posted a couple of days ago, um, where she puts Anna Delvey, aka Sorokin, next to herself in the thumbnail and the, the name of the title of this video is something like the 10 things that can make you see if somebody is is poor <laughs> you look poor i was like on the floor gagging i was like oh my god anna bay is already on it she's already leeching off of anna delvey's success and not only is she leeching off of her success but she's also throwing shade at anna delvey saying you see how she's like made a little circle around Anna's hair like look her hair so frizzy at the bottom there so she can't be rich because that hair is not so taken care of. oh honey as if your extensions were allegedly huh, were so well taken care of and I'm like oh I see so who's the con here and Anna Bay Dolly I mean of all people throwing shade really we we have all seen your alleged screenshots of you in the reality tv show affluently barfing on the toilet floor <laughs> <laughs> girl fainting and barfing on the toilet floor in a reality tv show affluently and allegedly girl and you're giving us the 10 or 5 to 10 things to spot to see if a person is poor or not honey let me tell you something coco chanel always said anna bay darling anna bay anna bay listen to me luxury which also in coco's universe meant style which also means in many cases elegance which translates to affluence in many a circumstance not always we know but luxury is not the opposite of poverty darling luxury is the opposite of vulgarity now if you want to claim the fame of luxury and affluence, darling, and being the luxurious lady, the self-proclaimed YouTube affluent and elegant lady that you are, Anna Bay, well, then you cannot claim that, really, if, if you spent your time affluently barfing on the toilet flow in some reality TV show a couple of years back. Girl, allegedly. So, and on top of that, you're cashing in on Anna Delvey's looks. Hmm. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Anna, mm-mm, mm-mm. No, no, this is not elegant. 
This is not elegant because it is obvious that you're cashing in on Anna Delvey's success. Because Anna has over a million subscribers, uh, followers on Instagram. Honey, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Anyway, this is just a little image I wanted to show you guys. Oh. Два супер чать from Vanessa Celeste. Anna Bay, Yulo Okpor. Um, Bubbles the bot has just switched her voice to to Russian, just in 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 honor of of um, well, read between the lines. If you don't know, if you know, you know. And she read it in, in the Russian accent. Thank you so much, Vanessa. You look poor. <laughs> Anna Bay, you look poor. Um, this is hilarious. And also, on another note, I mean, you you know, you're gonna let me know in the comment section down below anyway, because this is a very very juicy topic. Because there's a lot to say. So hates her, who loves her, da, 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 who hates me, who loves me. Listen, uh, the elegance of Anna Bay's followers uh, are uh, uh, a lot of them send me death threats. Ah, the elegance of it all, right? So, but you know, maybe I can put your troubles at ease. Maybe I can put your thoughts at ease. Maybe I can put your doubts whether or not Anna Delvey is a con artist or not at ease once and for all. I doth have a solution for this predicament that we are in as a society, whether or not deciding whether or not Anna Delvey is a con artist or not. I'm going to quote to you from the pop culture Bible. Madonna's sex book. Yes, the, alum the aluminum covered Madonna's sex book with the, the sex with the X in the back. Okay? I'm going to quote to you. When I say this to you, you're going to see this. This is going to answer all your questions and it's going to answer all your doubts once and for all. Madonna doth say at the end of the book, here it is. Here it is. A lot of people are afraid to say what they want. That's why they don't get what they want. Thank you for watching. Subscribe.